Right here behind me is the most notorious prison in Georgia's state prison history. So let's talk about it. What's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If this is your first time on the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Before we get into this video, I'm just going to go ahead and give you some footage here. This is Georgia State Prison, which is located in Reedsville, Georgia. And the reason why I'm going to just go ahead and give you this footage is because I'm not going to be here for long. So I'm going to have to finish out this video at home or probably somewhere else. But anyway, as you can see, that's the main uh, entryway there. Um, here comes the truck. Let's let that pass. So you can see that this thing's pretty much walled off it was considered at one time to be one of the worst prisons in georgia you can see the uh towers here there is towers on each end in the corners and i've actually been to this prison not actually locked up there but just in transit on the back which is back that way you come back on the green floor go into a holding cell and wait to catch your bus so i'm going to go ahead and close this out for now and finish out this video later so guys, as you can see from that footage I recorded, I was only there for a little while and I had to get up out of there. That was Georgia State Prison, man, located in Reedsville, Georgia. It was actually opened in 1938, houses about 1,550 inmates, and it's pretty popular, especially here in the state of Georgia. It's housed some very notable prisoners from Martin Luther King to H. Rapp Brown to Wayne Williams, who we all know was a notorious serial killer in Atlanta, I think in the 80s, maybe the 70s, but um, it's definitely a maximum security facility. Uh, death Row used to be there. It's not anymore. That was actually moved to a place called Jackson, Georgia. Now, this prison, if you've ever done time in the state of Georgia, has got, you know, facts that have happened there, things that actually did happen. You can actually look up and confirm, but it also has a whole lot of legends, and, you know, first I'm going to hit on this one legend and it's the legend of who they call sheephead kelly now i'm not saying that this guy did not exist but anybody that's ever done time in georgia has heard of this dude supposedly he came in with only a couple of years killed a guard out on a work detail and got a life sentence and, and turned into one of the most notorious prisoners in there they said that he killed an inmate and chopped him all the way up and couldn't get everything down. So he had the head and he was walking down the tier. Excuse me, couldn't get everything down the toilet. He was trying to flush him down the toilet. So this is what you hear. And I actually found out his real name. It was supposedly Cecil Sheephead Kelly. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that the guy did not exist, but the only place that you can actually find anything about him is in books that ex-cons wrote who have done time at Reedsville. I actually looked in the graveyard because they say that he died there in Reedsville prison and he was buried in the inmate graveyard because he didn't have family, but there's no record of his name. There's also no record of his name in the Georgia's actual records. You can search for prisoners past and present. So it's really nice outside. I decided to come out and get the rest of this video done, man. But um, one more notable event that happened in Georgia State Prison in Reedsville is that um, July 23rd, 1978, there was a riot and there was actually three people killed. You had uh, two inmates and one guard. That guard's name was Dan Harrison. After they did the autopsy, it was found that he was actually stabbed 61 times and was beaten so badly that every bone in his body was broken. At the time, they were speculating whether or not it was racially motivated because, I guess a year or two previous, a federal judge had handed down an order to segregate the prison due to the racial tensions and violence. So you had African-American inmates who were in two of the buildings and the white inmates were in one of the other buildings. And this particular riot happened. It started with the African-Americans, and they are the ones who killed the inmates. And the three guys, uh, yeah, three guys, two inmates, one guard, who were killed were white. And so there was speculation about whether or not it was racially motivated. From what I can tell, there was no really conclusive evidence on it. When the staff member from Reesville was interviewed, they said that they did not know at the time. Also, one more thing of note, a lot of you may have seen the movie The Longest Yard. And if you're thinking about the new one with, uh, what's that Joker's name? Uh, Adam Sandler. 
That's not the one, but it is a remake of the original with Burt Reynolds that was filmed in 74. That was actually filmed inside the prison. Uh, I guess that things were different back then. Um, they would let a film crew inside of a maximum security prison. Unheard of these days, unless it's like a documentary and they're heavily escorted. But if you go and watch this movie, they actually used inmates as extras in the movie. And um, it was a big deal back then. So, uh, I hope that's not affecting my sound. But, they actually called the prison, I think, Orange? No, Citrus. They called it Citrus Prison in the movie. But, you can tell that it is the White Elephant, Reedsville, which is what they used to call it. The White Elephant, because the whole thing was painted white. Um... And, like I said, man, pretty cool that Burt Reynolds got in there and actually filmed that movie. As far as today and the modern day, I don't think much happens at Reesville anymore. It is one of the most notorious prisons in our history. But, right now, I would say that Smith State Prison is probably the worst one that we have. Smith, or Hayes, or maybe Telfair, those kinds of prisons. Um, from what I understand, they don't house nearly as many inmates as they used to in Reesville. I was there. But I only came through on transit and I hit the back floor. They call it the green mile or the green floor or whatever. It's got like green tile. And I was only there for a night to catch a bus and go to another place. But anyway, that is Georgia State Prison, guys. Hope you enjoyed the content. Until next time.